Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our retro unboxing and throwback of the Intermec CK60. This is an interesting advanced smart barcode scanner with a 3.8 inch touchscreen display that runs on an early version of Windows Mobile Professional Edition. Came out back in 2007, so it's almost a decade now, and the company has since been acquired by Honeywell back in 2012, which is the famous air conditioning and thermostat company. But this company, when it was still around, was based in Washington State, and they mostly made these barcode scanners and also personal computers, and the CK60 was a quite popular model floating around, they can still acquire through Amazon or eBay, and support lasted up until 2011 when they came out with the second generation model, so it's actually not that outdated as far as barcode scanning tech is concerned. Otherwise, again, aside from the touchscreen display, it ran on Windows Mobile, and you could add uh, certain features on here, such as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, depending on the base version that you get. Since it's really meant for industrial use and businesses, it's very sturdy and has an aluminum magnesium uh, build, in addition to soft-touch rubber bumpers that uh, will allow it to survive up to six feet for drops, and has flash storage, which means that these, the memory on here is uh, not going to be lost, unlike uh, flat hard drives, for instance. And it's also IP64 certified, so you can do a bit of water and drop a bit of water on this, and it should still also survive. Uh, in terms of processor, you had access to a relatively standard 520 megahertz processor that's by Intel, the PXA272, and there was also 128 megabytes of RAM along with 128 megabytes of uh, expandable storage. So pretty standard for a Windows mobile pro product at, of the time. And it used a ID scanner that uses uh, laser as well as infrared. And um, otherwise, let's take a closer look now at the, the packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty simple design, just says handheld computer on it. Uh, the retail price for this when it first came out was around $900, and you can still find new versions selling for that uh, amount on eBay and also on Amazon, um, depending on where you search. So we'll take a closer look at the design there in a moment. There's a quick start guide as well, and also just the battery pack, and that's, that's it for the packaging. So this off to the side, take a look at the battery first. It's a huge battery, at least in size, but in terms of capacity, it's actually only 2,400 milliamp hours. So we've actually gone a bit more efficient now in 2017 with battery technology as well. That's been reduced and we can get a lot slimmer batteries for the same capacity. But here is the actual KC60, which is a huge uh, kind of PDA pocket computer scanner hybrid that uh, is really useful if you're a business with a ton of different codes that you want to scan in, program, maybe browse the web, update your inventory with another computer. So those are all things that you can do with this model. Um, it's a pretty popular one. Again, it has this magnesium alloy frame on the sides and this very thick polycarbonate uh, bumper. The screen here is a matte screen as well, so it doesn't glare as much, but it is a resistive one, so you can use your fingernails or a pressure sensitive uh, device like a pen, but uh, it's not Wacom enabled. Um, unfortunately, it's not capacitive, so it's not as precise, but it makes handwriting recognition and smaller text a bit easier to use with Windows Mobile. Down below here, there are a few hotkeys for going into the Windows key, uh, changing the screen brightness, selecting OK as standard four-way navigation toggle. There's also left and right hotkeys in addition to two microphones for uh, voice for noise cancellation when you're talking and recording sound, as well as these keys that can only be tapped on with a stylus that accesses the battery indication icon. Finally, there's a keyboard here, which I'm not really sure why they didn't go with a QWERTY layout and instead went with A to Z. Maybe if you're doing quick shortcuts for labeling things, it might be simpler, but I still think if you're actually typing, a QWERTY layout would have been better. It's a pretty tactile and responsive. The keys are risen above the surface. They're not backlit, but they are very clicky and easy to tap on. There's also left and right mouse click keys down below here if you want to install, let's say, Windows CE as the alternate operating system to get a more usable uh, way of navigating the UI then. There's also a standard array of T9 numbers here, shift, escape, back keys, as well as an enter key. So pretty standard as far as the design goes for, for uh, barcode scanners. It really reminds me of a graphing calculator of sorts from the front. Um, and again, it's extremely bulky. Can you imagine if this thing was a phone? That would be huge. So taking a look on the sides here, there's dedicated hotkeys again that you can program through Windows Mobile to do the tasks that you want it to do. Same thing with one on the other side. Another thing that's kind of interesting on this model, this is, by the way, the infrared and wireless port, is that there is no real uh, stylus storage slot on the body of the unit. Instead, you can kind of store on the on the top, but it's a little loose and it sometimes pops off. So again, that's another element that's not really nicely designed, um, not too well on this. But 
Nevertheless, the top feature is the, the laser scanner for 2D barcodes, and it's a pretty swift experience. The back feature is a strap, along with a loudspeaker, so you can play back some sound. And if we unbuckle the strap, on the inside it looks like there's some more details about the model number, as well as the uh, input rating for the battery. And that's basically it. This is just the battery compartment. And overall, that's basically the design. Performance on here is basically what you, you would expect. The main UI is classic Windows Mobile. In fact, if I take a closer look inside the battery compartment, you can even see it being displayed here. Let's try zooming in a little bit. And it says Windows Mobile 5.0 Pocket PC Premium Edition. So by premium, we have access to the full touch functionality because the standard edition of Windows Mobile, believe it or not, did not register touch as an input um, out of the box. And this also allowed it to add wireless needs like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth supported by the OS. So um, Windows Mobile, again, is Basically, if you've used an older PDA or Pocket PC, if you haven't, you can check out those older videos on our channel, but it's a very antiquated operating system that uh, really is similar to using a full version of Windows in your pocket uh, in terms of icons and everything being very small, not super optimized, and apps uh, could be sideloaded in, but um, really not really meant for finger-friendly navigation, and it didn't have the, the fastest processor nor the most RAM, but things did run decently for mostly productivity tasks as well as for editing documents. So it definitely suits the purpose of something like this, which is really industrial and meant to tie in perhaps with some kind of uh, server box that, that consolidates all your information or even with a desktop that has uh, all these barcodes maybe stored on it. So here's the battery. Let's pop this in. It's a very recessed design. Seems like we have to pop it in like so and then push it all the way down and Afterwards, it seems like it's automatically booting up. You can see this one was boot on August 9th, 2007. And uh, shortly afterwards, it should be loading the operating system from flash storage. And you can kind of see here that the, the screen here is decent. Um, the backlight does show up here. Uh, obviously, the resolution is nowhere near as good as modern day smartphones, but it's bright enough to be seen. View angles are decent, so no problems as far as viewing back basic information such as barcodes, the products that you've scanned, photos, maybe a screenshot of that uh, to get a better idea. So overall, a very good construction quality and again, one of the most advanced uh, barcode scanners of, at the time. And even now, it still makes for a decent option if you do want something super advanced, but obviously there have been a ton of uh, much lower cost options now, and we've, we've even reviewed some of those. If you just need a simple plug and play solution or just a simple Bluetooth based one that you can plug into a computer um, or a tablet, they can come at a lot cheaper than say $900 for an all-in-one solution that has the, the computing power also built into here along with a separate display. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this retro unboxing and throwback video here at OS Reviews of the Intermec CK60, kind of an interesting fusion between a Windows Mobile PDA along with an interesting...